I like to make things with my sewing machine, but I also love to make no-sew items to give as gifts or to keep for myself. I'm with Beth Huntington, the renegade seamstress, and today we don't need this, do we? Nope, don't need the sewing machine today. The first one is a dog toy. You can actually make this for your dog okay. out of old t-shirts. And so you just pick a couple colors that you like to, mm -hmm. together. Maybe you can even make them at your living room or something if you want okay. to. And so I chose these colors and you're gonna cut them into one inch strips about 20 inches long or so. Right. so. Then after you get them all cut, then you're gonna take them and pull each one, just pull them tight. And then they just stretch out and they oh. roll when oh. you do that. It's really pretty fun. Just keep stretching them. So they start, here's one that okay. actually is flat. Yeah. And now when I pull it. Yep. So you're gonna pull about, <gasps> yeah, it stretches yeah. way out. Okay. Pull about 20 of them. And um, then we're going to uh, put 20 together. So you just pick as many colors as you want. If you want it to be mostly blue or mostly yellow or this however really you want to do it. Okay, so do we have about 20 of them ready there, I think? I think so. All right, so we'll just count them out. So you're going to just uh, line up the strips at the top okay. so they're about the same, it doesn't have to be exact, mm -hmm. and just tie a big knot to start with. That seems easy enough. Yep, that's pretty easy. Just pull it right through, just like that. So you've got a nice tight knot. Then you're going to divide it in half. All right. So <clears> you <throat> ten strips a piece. Ten strips a piece. Does that have to be exact, or can we just? Oh, no, it doesn't have okay. to be exact. All right. And in this part, you can either have like hold, have somebody else hold it, okay. or actually maybe why don't you hold it? All right. And then all, and you're going to take these two um, strips and cut them or twir twirl them different directions. So just keep twirling them, twirling them. A lot of people do this with hair like yeah. a little girl's hair. If you didn't have somebody, you could actually duct tape this down to the counter probably. You could, I actually like stepped on it when yeah. I made it by right. myself. You all could right. step on it too. And so you just keep twirling. We do what we need to do, right? Yep. That's all part yeah. of the, about being a renegade. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And you just keep twirling it until you get it pretty twisted. Okay. And then you're gonna take it and, and twirl these two together Got or it. twist these two together like this. Easy enough. Yep. And once you get finished twisting, and you're pulling it up tight. It actually, when it settles down, it gets, it gets a little bit looser, so it it's is. important to start tight. Yeah, you just kind of start tight there, and then, um, and because it's twirled first, then it will keep its twirl. And then you just, when you get to the end, you just make another knot in that end, and then you're finished. And you've got a great toy for your dog. Yes. And just pull that tight. Then you've got your little toy for your dog. And voila, dog toy. No so dog toy, I love it. Okay, let's move on to the next project. All right, we have another no-sew project right. today, something really quickly, really quick, and I'm gonna make this vest for you. That vest is no-sew? This is no-sew, and then you can have it afterwards. Okay. So, and if you see these waterfall vests at the store, you know, they're really fun because they just hang really nicely, yes. and, um, but all they are is just a rectangle of fabric and then you just cut a couple holes in it. I think I've so. maybe overpaid for a few rectangles sure in my life. I'm pretty sure you did. Yes. And okay. the beauty of this make it no sew too, is if you get a nice thick knit, um, that will... Um, yeah, this you, is really substantial. And then you don't even have to hem it. You, can, you don't have to do any hemming, Literally, it won't ravel. no sew. No sew, okay. exactly. So you start with a 44 wide and a 20, I did 29 inches tall, but you know, okay. depending on how tall you are, you might want to change that. Or longer for like a more dramatic mm -hmm. effect. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just uh, fold it in half this way. Okay. And just match the edges. Okay. And then for the armhole, you're going to make an oval that is about eight inches tall and about six and a half inches wide. And how did you figure that out? Well, you know, I actually used one as a pattern. Oh, that's a, I, I do that all the time at home too. It's a great idea to use. If you like something that you have, mm -hmm. use it. And use it as a pattern, yeah. So I just um, figured out how big the armhole was and made, a, made my own pattern. And then you can take your, I just cut, drew it on a piece mm -hmm. of paper and cut it out. I didn't get it exact. And then you're going to take your piece of paper and lay it uh, at an angle a little bit, pointing up towards the top of your fold. And we're right at the here. seam here, yeah, so mm -hmm. I've not seen the fold. Yeah, yep. right at so. the top of the fold. 
and then you're going to be kind of putting you're going to put about four inches in from the fold and about two inches down from the top. Okay. So you can kind of guess at that, and then you just pin on your pattern. I like the way you work. You can just kind of guess at that. It's my way. That's how I roll. Yeah. I mean, if you want to be exact, you can be exact on there. And just pin it in place. You, and then just take your scissors and cut right around your pattern. Easy as mm -hmm. cutting a circle yeah. or an oval, I should cut say. the oval. <laughs> so I think it's really interesting that you, you can cut knits. I think everybody thinks that you have to hem things or it will unravel. And a lot of fabrics don't do that, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, All so right. you've got your that cut out. Okay. And then just open it up. Is it time for It's time for you to put it on. All right. I'm and now we can be twins. Right, twins. Yeah. And, the, and it's cute because it has like a little racer back in the back. That's really cute. And I love even how this kind of flaps open and you can see the other side of the fabric. <gasps> this was really fun, Beth. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you so me. much for coming. Thank you.